So, by my own popular man, guest star Patrick is on Zombified Apple's channel. Welcome to the show, Patrick. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine, Zombified Apple. Um, so, the audience doesn't know this, but this is literally my first time even seeing the intro to this game before. Like, I've never touched it before. What about you? Um, I've played it once. I was terrible at it. Well, I have a surprise for you, Houston. I vaguely know what this game about, about 2%, and I think I can play it better than you already. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it, Patrick. Well, <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> So what are the odds that they can hear you across the room while I'm shouting into the mic? Um, they could hear you, but you'll probably won't be... You probably sound really, really far away. You mean like this? That's just you whispering into the mic. <laughs> well, they didn't know it until you told them. Leave it to the imagination. Okay, okay, here we are. So I'm going to guess the era is the 50s, but I'm probably wrong. A new type of city based on um, the man. I think I think so. I think it's honestly around the 1940s, 1950s. Okay, so that's a Chrysler, or is that a Chevelle, or a Chevy? I think it's a Chrysler. I don't know. All right, my my last and final guess was T-Bird. I think I thought it was a Shaggin wagon. That's why I always called it. <laughs> that's not a bad nickname, actually. So idyllic small town, uh, probably a nuclear family. And we're still afraid of the Russians, aren't we? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, this is California. We're definitely afraid of the Russians. I think this is the beginning of Fallout 4. City of dreams. Or Space Cowboys, definitely. The Moving screens, rotated. Oh, man, the, that's classic Hollywood right there. Most definitely. Isn't that, isn't that the first space shuttle right there? Um, I think that's the first space Zeppelin, actually. Might be right. Yeah, we reverse engineered some Nazi technology. What year was that? Actually, I think we went to the moon in the 50s. Or was it the 70s? The city of dreamers. Yeah, yeah we, the space race was a thing. Yeah. Uh, Good God, they had great knockers. <laughs> <laughs> Do people still say knockers? I mean, I'm trying to... Uh, assimilate myself with the times. Did we go through this entire video just talking like they did back in the 50s? Well, not entirely good, sir, but I think some euphemisms would certainly add to the air to make us feel like we're in the 1950s, where literally I could commit murder, and as long as I'm not there when the police show up, I'm free. <laughs> Illuminati. I knew it. One world order. It's real. <laughs> I don't know what the, the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of Okay, so mistakes get made, but I'm you deal with them. You know I'm, I'm going to base my knowledge of what is happening only by what I can read. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, steam engine train powered by coal is still a thing. Good to know. That's, a, yeah, yeah, that's very good to know. We'll, we will definitely need that information for later on in the game. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, like some sort of a chase. In fact, one might about start, and then we're going to be on top of the train fighting. I know it's going to happen. Uh, most definitely. By the way, are close captains on? Because if I can't read... Oh, hell yeah, play black and white. Oh my god! Now, now we're really in the 1950s. This is literally how everybody saw. Okay. <laughs> no, no, this is how they saw. We're trying to simulate with the times. This is like the opposite of advancing societies. It's like... Well, I will say honestly that they had really nice cars. Like, this was the junk car that everyone had, and it was friggin' sexy by today's standards, at least my standards of sexiness. I would totally buy one of these cars if I could afford it. Yes, sir. Phelps and We had a shooting. I saw a, a Packard, like one of like twenty left in the, from this era, and it's like twenty plus grand for sure. Well, God, no, not twenty grand. It's way more than that. Um, well, twenty grand, nineteen fifties, and then adjusted for the APR rates of today, it'd be like a million and a half dollars or something, probably. Uh, they're, they're pretty expensive nowadays. Like, like if, if people kept really, really good care of them, like they're worth a fortune right now. Hmm? I've actually seen these things in museums. They're like special showpieces. They put them on trailers and move them around to other museums. Alright, so we're gonna go and investigate. This is a fist hump. 
Just going through the motions. All right, so probably right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It, he said a done. fist hump. What right, the hell I was a way. fist hump? Search right up to the back Paying wall. attention to anything you I was supposed to do. I guess I'm just going to look around. Oh, I could do that. Oh, God, I want to make really cringy jokes because it was totally acceptable in the 1950s, but it's not acceptable in the 2017 era. If I'm close to it, then it will sound off, so... Are, am I learning or are you learning? I think I'm learning. Hold on, I'm, I'm next to something. How the fuck... Oh, okay, I click it. I thought you said you'd played this before. I haven't played it in a long time. Got, See, I've never played it, and I would have figured that out already. Like, you're so far behind already. I was thinking I had to press E. Shut up. See, that's where I have the advantage for this game. This game came out on the console, Jesus. and I'm better oh, at consoles than at computers. I originally had it for console, but then just like, when I started playing PC, I'm just like, you know what? I want to get this. I want to get it for PC, too. E for I everything. I always get landed with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had some sort of witticism ready for the blood stain on the door. I mean, definitely blood, definitely blood. Definitely blood. Ew, gross. Somebody clean that up. Never gonna find yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to check. Well, it's 1950s. We don't check it for DNA. We mop that up because it's gross. This, okay, now it's getting intense. Keep looking at the same damn spot. I know, man. It's the same blood stain. <laughs> oh, I see a gun. Okay. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. Is it the How rooftop? The hell did you or see is it that? the glass? To be able Don't to spot yourself. something like that? You're like, holy shit. By the way, on this mic that I'm totally not holding, and that is <laughs> standing in front of us, I see, the, I see this green light where it's plugged in. Yeah. What the hell is the green light about? Is that recording? Yeah, that means it's recording. It means it's they picking up sound. Up roof, right? Okay, this is also my you first video. But by popular demand of my own, I will maybe be back in another video sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I can see you definitely coming back for another video, for sure. What kind of chumps do these homicide by your own guys popular think demand. we are? Damn, see, 1950s cops weren't fat donut-eating pigs. They were skinny donut-eating pigs who could climb drain pipes. <laughs> uh, I have to agree. So my question is, am I allowed to Are say that? Uh, yes, because we're in 1950s. I'm allowed to say that. Oh, see? That's how you know it's 1950s. No fingerprints. They don't care about fingerprints at all. He just picks up... Is that... I'm going to say it's a pearl-handled gun because it's black and white. That's how everyone saw. Honestly, I think it is a pearl-handled gun, if I remember right. Okay, guys. We're back in 2017. I can't be cringy anymore. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is Pearl. It is Pearl, for sure. Does that mean we can switch back to 1950s? Um, I guess. If you really want no, not two yet. I like me. Two rounds fired. Instead of two shots fired. Six. Two shots were fired. So what is two minus six, or six minus two? Uh, six minus two. Thanks. He now. did better at math. I did better at reading. <laughs> um... Actually, I was terrible at math. We have the yeah, I was actually pretty good at math too. Let's take it back <laughs> to the central. We could get a I was I was actually better at government than anything rough. else. Okay, that I was pretty bad at. History though, I remember everything, just not those dates. You know what local guns do? Uh, sure. Like history, I, I remembered most of like the actual main uh, main events that happened in our history. But as far as the dates go, I can't remember a damn. Thing. See, I recently was reading a book. I'm not going to get too no nerdy on you digging. this episode. But in this book, I learned more about the now. events leading up to World War II to than ever can. before. But, like, not about America, but about ja what Japan was doing. Japan was insane. I can't begin to describe how incredibly insane they were. Really talented, really smart, really crazy. Uh... Yeah, the Viet Vietnamese though. Whenever America was in the uh, Vietnam War, like, dude, they were fucking crazy. See, I think I could beat you, but only because I've only heard the crazy stories from Japan, and not the crazy story from Vietnam. Well, like, I don't know. The Vietnamese, like, from the stories I've heard, they would fucking charge at you, like, su like suicide almost, just to kill you. Yeah, that sounds like the Japanese. Um, the Japanese commit more war crimes and never gave an official declaration of war until after they'd attacked you which ironically 
the attack on Pearl Harbor. They had done a surprise attack from airplanes like three other times in the last 40 years. It wasn't a brand new creation. They'd done it before. It was still like screwed up and we'll never forget it. But we also really don't know how to learn from our own history. Especially because the history was from another country. The only history that really matters is American history. Unless you're in another in, unless you're in another country listening to this video, in which case your history matters too. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh man. Well, you know what to do at least. I know mostly what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so in this mic that I'm totally not holding. Um I don't know how mics work because I don't do sound equipment. What's the range for being able to pick up voice on this thing? Um roughly roughly about a about a foot to an inch is like the best for this mic. Okay, that's good to know. You worried. Don't worry, people bitched and moan about their job even in the 50s. Like it's not a new concept. Well, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I heard a chime. I heard a chime. Can you zoom in? I can zoom in when he's found something, but I guess it's just a cigarette butt. Oh, not all objects are relevant. That cigarette butt that was probably smoked by the guy who fired the weapon. That's how you know it's 50s, because today we'd pick up every single thing. We'd find out whose car this belonged to and interrogate that guy just for having it in the area. A homeless man died of a heart attack, and a friend of mine spent four weeks answering questions from the police even though they knew it was a heart attack and he hadn't been murdered just because they have to investigate every little thing that goes on yeah i think i've searched everything here I'm not sure is there a way to pull up the menu uh should just pull up automatically i think not this game it's too rad for that <laughs> it's, too, it's too rad bro I think rad might not be old time enough. It's not uh, chipper. It's not chipper enough. Um. Gee, gee, Willikers, Mister. I don't know. Now that that is what I needed to hear from you. That made my day. So for the next video, I'm probably gonna look up 50s catchphrases from everything. So, okay, yep, I got it. I just set the wrong destination last time. We're going to the gun store to find out where who this gun belongs to. I gotta say, the old method of police investigation was so awesome. Oh, hey, we just found this gun. Should we dust it for fingerprints? Nah, man, let's go to the gun store and see if he remembers who bought it. <laughs> well, it has a... All, like, all guns have a serial number. Well, unless you, like, buy them in pieces, I guess. That's a question I shouldn't answer you out loud. Really? It, it, I shouldn't answer that question. <laughs> I suppose you could. Something's got to have a serial number, but I still wouldn't do it. A lot of guns back back then had serial numbers just so people could backtrace them. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, you can mail yourself the parts of a gun, put it together. I was just thinking about because like you can get your, you can get gun parts in pieces and they won't have that number on them. Something will, but if you do it right, you got yourself a great disposable weapon. True. We probably we probably shouldn't talk about this. Yeah, let, let's not talk about that. In other words, did you hear about the guns that you can print on a 3D printer? They're like one-shot uses, and they're done. I have. I actually I heard like they make those in prison too. Like they can actually make like a one-shotter in prison. I'm not surprised. They made a cross compound crossbow in prison. And it actually like punctured through a file cabinet. No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. <laughs> it's a soldier. Right. You know this piece will stop a rhino. That's a 45. I yeah, I hope it does. I guess. <laughs> I would hope it stops something, something bad, at least. So, I bet you're wondering. Did he shoot five or did he shoot so six rounds? What is that word? Odairs. Correct. Model 27 <laughs> with pearl grips. Luck, Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Not Order bad for not paying attention. February 46. Completely. It looks like the same number, too, so. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. See, nowadays, Always happy to help the, out the uh, gun store owners can't keep records of who buys weapons. They have to get rid of them after, like, one day. So buy a gun, wait a day, then blow someone's brains out. Totally can't Let's figure out where you bought it from. So do you Only know where this game is based off of? Okay. I'm going to say California. In for a penny, in for a pound. Correct. Lead the way. I feel like I still have something to look for here. 
it's not, it's not uh, scratched out like the gun store. So I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look for something else. You probably didn't find the body. Is, it, is there a body? There's always a body. Well, I mean, there was blood, but I mean, the, there wasn't a body next to it. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's a shotgun blast looking blood so hard, splatter on a door from a 45 revolver, there's a body somebody issue. dragged away. Yes, so. Seems okay, yeah, good I can agree, good agree with that. Locally, the question is, well, where's well, the blood trail, trail if you dragged him away? He wrapped him in plastic. Huh. What, you've never done that with anyone else, or is it just me? What, I wasn't paying attention. I wrap a body in plastic wrap, almost sideswipe a car in oncoming traffic. I do that every Saturday. Only Saturdays? Yeah, I'm, I'm usually pretty busy, you know, the rest of the week, you know, so in my free time, you know, I like to I like to run people over and uh, saran wrap them, you know, to make sure the blood doesn't come out, and then just, like, you don't want the blood in your carpet. God, no, stuff takes forever to get out. Trust me, I'm speaking from a friend's experience. Uh, a friend's experience? Not you, though. Like a this is a Ford. I just saw it. It's a Ford? It's a Ford. I guess I guessed every single brand except for Ford. <laughs> See what's really cool? 1950s exploration for cops. Should we cordon off the crime scene? Nah. Let's go to the gun store and then double back because I forgot something. <laughs> I think I think everyone has a problem with a cop once they pull me over for speeding 95 in a 65 zone. Oh, I thought you were going to say school zone. <laughs> no, no, no. I was I was going 65 in a 45 in a city zone before. It wasn't a school zone. They haven't caught me doing that yet. I think one of our friends was actually like got pulled over for speeding in a school zone. Am I allowed to say his name? Because I have a guess. Fuck it, why not? My money's on Caleb. My money's on Caleb too. <laughs> I feel like that's something he's done. Well, he's had how many Mustangs and thinks they're all V8s? Uh, he's had one V8 Mustang and one V6 Mustang. And he thought that V6 was like a V12, the way he drove it. Basically. <laughs> 90 miles an hour down the fucking highway. Yeah, man, I was passing V8s left and right. It's because they weren't racing you. Do I have GTA 5 rules engaged in this game, or did you turn those off for me? Oh, shit, I turned on the siren. <laughs> um... Drive with it on, man. That way you have an excuse to run red lights, like every cop in my town does. I'm gonna figure out my notes. Wait. Oh, that wasn't it. Did you try N for notes? I've tried M for map. What about P for pin? Or pad? Or pocket? For pocket? Left here. Yes, all, it's right next to F for fuck it. Wait, Take can I say left. that? Bleep it out later, okay? Thanks for bleeping it out later. <laughs> Don't tell the... Okay. Okay, case objectives. See, I know kids, like, they can't hear me saying that word. So I'm supposed to be investigating his apartment. I'm supposed to be a good role model. And I try my best. My bestest. Is that guy's name Schroeder? I thought it was Schrodner, like that German dude with a cat. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, somebody's name was Eric Skorotum? Considering Edward A... Edward Agley Bagelface, I believe, was this man's name. Poor that bastard. So hard, was Leave that out, too, for me. <laughs> Agley Bagelface was a real man that existed and was plagued by a punk teenager and his best friends. Why should we bleep that out? No, no, I said another swear word in the background again. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not like we're sponsored by YouTube yet, although he wouldn't mind being sponsored by YouTube? I would not mind being sponsored by YouTube. Am I allowed to bore you out for sponsoring, so long as I'm not boring myself out for sponsoring? I'm sort of like a person in a management position. Um, just call it pimp for short. I want a racist train. I thought he said racist train. I was like, just because it's the 1950s doesn't mean everything is about race. How presumptuous. Wait, wait, shit, shit, shit. No, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Real police drive through the culverts, That's don't you? Out of your wages, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Could you imagine just like a cop car in the 50s just like driving through the storm train just, <laughs> just hitting everything? Oh, you did! <laughs> we should file a report! Or we should get the hell out of here! I have my alarm on, so everybody go fuck yourselves. You heard it first here, I had it on beforehand. Anyone who says different is interfering with the police investigation and needs to be arrested. Pronto. Is Pronto 50s enough, or should we go older? Uh, how old? We should go lickety split. <laughs> lickety split. I think that's 50s ish. Start going like 1800. Just. I say, dear boy. That's some fanciness right there. Um, not 1800s today. I have to figure out more 1800s jokes other than just rich. European British man talking to Chauncey the butler. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're going to end the first episode here. And then we're going to come back. I say, if you so desire so. Mm, yes, yeah, quiet indeed. Indubitably. Indubitably, good time. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>